people welcome back to my uh, youtube channel Elliot wave principle i'm your host shaheen i have uh, a patreon service if you guys are interested in my patreon service uh, from now on um, you'll only see the weekend analysis on my youtube channel any mid week analysis will be available on my patreon so it's a very small um, fees that i'm charging on uh, patreon which is 29 dollars you can come uh, join me on patreon.com forward slash elliot wave green uh, this would enable you to get some extra uh, apart from YouTube uh, and uh, you'll be able to make sense of where the waves are sometimes if you are an analytician you are aware of it that sometimes price move in a direction and then you need to make sense of it so I'll be helping you with that uh, I have been trading for a good while now I have a good follower of uh, Elliott wave analysis uh, traditional technical analysis and uh, WD can analysis and I know not only that the uh, the direction of the trend is important but how the trend is going to unfold is also important uh, because let's say if a price hack happens sharply uh, let's say for four five six weeks that we have seen in Japanese gen or then we have a slow unfolding of the trend uh, all these things are going to be available on my uh, patreon and the main benefit is that you guys will be able to see longer term uh, forecast whenever I have some all right a lot of time the long-term forecasts are not easy to make so now I can easily see uh, where gold and silver are heading and where platinum are heading in a longer term of period so I'll be unfolding that uh, structure on my patreon page and any midweek analysis will also only be available only at a patreon enough of that uh, you guys might have some trouble uh, hearing me today I have sore throat and a little bit of temperature as well so stay with me and please ignore that we are going to discuss uh, Dow Jones which is one of our regular we will look at S&P 500 and uh, Nasdaq 100 Tesla we will look at we'll look at Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar uh, we will look at Canadian dollar all these three are commodity currencies uh, so we will definitely look at that we will look at uh, British pound and Euro and then we will look at Japanese yen seeing where the pr uh, prices are heading uh, we'll look at platinum is showing very interesting uh, structure I hope that you guys are enjoying the uh, the crash or the um, the price fall in all these structures as well and I hope you guys are taking profit in uh, platinum as well we were able to forecast good 80 to 90 dollar price movement in platinum and silver and uh, gold as well you guys have much better perspective than anybody uh, else uh, it tells you what exactly we're looking at silver and gold uh, gold we I indicated that it's going to be a u-turn in the middle of the week and that's exactly we happen uh, we'll discuss that gold as well and crude oil I've told you guys that crude oil where is crude oil heading we'll look into crude oil uh, we are seeing a very important pattern from the last weekend analysis and that pattern is still going on so we'll add on to that analysis I hope once again that you guys are enjoying all these trades and uh, Bitcoin as well a lot of you guys are interested in Bitcoin I was able to give this price movement already actually I was bearish all the way down from right over here so I hope that you guys are enjoying this uh, all of this uh, so if you d decide to join me on my patreon there will be a little support from you um, saying a thank you and I would love that uh, please do push that thumbs up button if you like my analysis and uh, comment I read every single comment I would love to hear from you uh, so if there is something positive or negative in both cases as well let's start our daily analysis so first of all I have already indicated you guys on, on a longer uh, time frame we are looking for uh, Dow Jones to hit around eighteen thousand uh, dollars and right now we're exactly we're going uh, last few week was quite interesting uh, we were able to pinpoint uh, the uh, the reversal right over here the support zone and we had seen an amazing price action I believe that this behavior would continue in Dow Jones right over here too uh, so I'm still bearish on Dow Jones there is nothing uh, in, in Dow Jones that is not uh, we have that is unexpected we are still bearish on Dow Jones and I've indicated to you guys that the um, you wanna stay away from uh, uh, the regular retail trading uh, by that I mean that you wanna see long term and therefore use this particular reference point to go short all right keep in mind that Elliott Fib analysis is good in telling us uh, structures right over here but the how long the structure can stay we are not aware of that we are seeing a bit of resistance in double bottom right over here I think that prices would be able to continue in case prices do jump right over here this is the critical moment and then we are expecting as a whole prices to fall from this top to further down as well 
S&P 500. <coughs> uh, once again, there is uh, uh, nothing that we are looking at S&P 500 giving an indication that we are going to see some major reversal happening. I believe that the continuation of the trend will carry on. Uh, more and more stocks will uh, fall on into the bearish territory. And that's what we're looking at S&P 500 right now. Once again, a similar pattern. We're expecting some sort of, uh, there is some sort of resistance right over here, but I think that this should carry on. And once again, if prices do go above, uh, let's say they do, go, they do go up, in that case, this is a very, very important support zone. I'm not expecting for the prices to go beyond this point. Therefore, if you are trading, uh, then it will be advisable to use this as a reference point to go short. <coughs> I'm expecting that price would carry on from down over here. A similar behavior we are seeing uh, in uh, NASDAQ 100. The only thing is that we have seen a lower low in NASDAQ and I'm expecting that we are going to see more weakness in NASDAQ and uh, that's what's going on. <laughs> we have seen the, the smaller time frame support coming in this area if you guys can see. We have one, two, and three right over here points where this uh, support was tested and we have seen the strong reversal. That's what we are expecting uh, that this will happen and that's exactly is unfolding. Uh, the continuation of the trend is downward. There nothing has changed. Uh, we are strongly bearish in all these indices. I've told you guys that I'm expecting a huge depression as far as WDGAN analysis studies is concerned. I'm expecting that we are in a early stages of the depression and we are expecting the huge depression uh, at least let's say that I really hope that because the job data is really positive and really hope that I, it, it does not expect it does not uh, affect the job market uh, because in that case what will happen a lot of these companies which are way way overpriced or overbought would be sold in that case so let's see how it goes but normally when a depression hap happens in the stock market, it does affect our economy as well. Tesla, we once again, we have seen a reversal right come running from over here. I told you guys that we were expecting a reversal and that's exactly we have seen. Uh, there is some sort of resistance coming from Tesla, but I believe that we will continue the, um, the price movement downward. Uh, way, way overbought as per my analysis on you know, using WDGAN analysis. It's way, way overpriced. I'm expecting that we will continue with this behavior further downward. Uh, once again, if you want to go short, I think this point shall be used as a reference point for going short in uh, Tesla. Australian dollar, uh, we did see uh, this price action. We did see this price action, but we have seen a deeper reversal. And in fact, in New Zealand dollar, we have created a new low right over here too. Uh, I am still sticking with my analysis and that we are very close uh, to the reversal of the trend that actually if you look at it uh, if you look at this trend and then this is quite an important one so I'm expecting that we are very very close uh, to that trend analysis uh, trend reversal what we are expecting right now is that horizontal support that you guys are seeing on hourly time frame I believe that this horizontal support on a smaller time frame is very very interesting uh, so this should be a break of this area support should be uh, the first uh, chance, the first uh, indication that the smaller correction that actually started from right over on top is complete. So I'm still bullish on Australian dollar, and uh, what on a longer time frame, I'm what I'm expecting here is that This is what I'm expecting on uh, on Australian dollar that we are going to see some th stru price structure in this way and uh, but we definitely need a break of horizontal support uh, horizontal resistance to see this behavior New Zealand dollar once again although we have created a new low right over here too uh, once again you guys uh, can see the horizontal support that I have drawn uh, for the downward price movement a break of this support would give an indication that we have created a bottom right over here we are very very close uh, to the uh, to the completion of uh, the trend right over here too 
on a longer time frame uh, and I need to discuss that in Australian dollar too. Let me complete this one and we can need to uh, discuss that definitely too in here. I'm expecting that we will see some sort of behavior uh, like this. A re and this would carry on. And I already told you guys in my previous analysis that I'm expecting this V sort of price movement happening and even beyond. So this is an important indication that I wanted to give on a daily time frame or four hourly time frame. On an hourly time frame, I already told you guys what is important. And similar in Australian dollar, I'm expecting that we have a four hourly time frame right over here. I'm expecting that this behavior that we are looking for uh, is a V-shaped pattern right over here too. All right. So a similar behavior is expected in Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar. Canadian dollar, once again, I'm expecting that on a smaller time frame that we are very, very close to the, the top being formed. So we can use uh, this support zone when prices fall below this one, giving an indication that we have created a top right over here too. Uh, once again, I'm expecting that we should be seeing uh, at least this sort of behavior that we have gone up right over here and then we should swiftly come down right over here too forming an A sort of uh, pattern in Canadian dollar <coughs> alright British pound um, the negative territory is expected to be continued downward alright I'm expecting that this behavior, the bearish trend, should continue now downward. We are not expecting a jump back. There is, uh, historically, we are cl getting close to the lows uh, right over here. And Euro is really making a mockery of uh, bulls. So we are going to discuss Euro, but I'm expecting that the con weakness in uh, British Pound would continue. And then we can definitely use uh, this point as an important reference point to go short in a British Pound. Euro is a uh, is giving a much better opportunity as compared to British pound because uh, Euro is still completing that correction that we have seen. I think that we should see price moving further downward, even though I was expecting that it would go bullish, but it has not. And the further weakness is expected in uh, uh, the further weakness is expected in uh, in Euro. Let me break that. Let me bring that right over here too. Okay, this is a low, and that low just got retested. All right, on a four hourly time frame, that low just got retested, giving an indication that prices are absolutely going to move swiftly downward. Some sort of behavior that we have seen in Japanese yen, and uh, we will, and we've already seen that in British pound. I guess that we are going to see that behavior happening in euro next week. Japanese Gen, we have already told you guys that we are getting very, very close to the historical levels right over here too. I believe that whenever this price movement is complete, uh, we will be heading downward and then we will see a lot of volatility happening in this zone when this completes. On a daily time frame and on a four hourly time frame, we can go long right, right over here too. There is a possibility that it stays in this range for a while. In this case, you should be using uh, a stop loss or a reference point right over this 126.88 to go long and once again there is a possibility we're expecting further to uh, continue downward and that does definitely has not happened in that case we have uh, seen expected to see some sort sideway price action and then go up in that case right over here <coughs> platinum I hope that you guys have taken the trade and uh, have enjoyed quite a bit of price movement uh, within a week, last week's time, we went from a low right over here to a high right over here, 991 or even 1000. And the correction that we are seeing uh, should be con uh, complete very quickly. And I'm expecting that we will carry on. Uh, if you are trading platinum, there is a chance because a lot of uh, we are coming out of a lot of resistance and support areas. So. <laughs> When you see this kind of behavior, there is a chance that we will uh, see a pullback right over here too. The major trend in platinum is bullish. Let me have a look on our daily time frame and will give us 
much better understanding so this is what I'm expecting I'm bullish on platinum nothing has changed we have uh, bounced off a very important triple bottom right over here too we have also broken uh, this kind of trend line that was indicated that was keeping the prices down and we have broken off it and we have retested that and we are going long right now so if you are looking at what exactly price structure should be looking at on the daily time frame that will be in detail available on my patreon I am bullish on a, a platinum I'm expecting a huge price movement upward in platinum silver again let's have a look <coughs> I'm bullish on silver nothing has changed with that and uh, although we have already kind of seen a nice price movement in gold uh, creating a V short of reversal silver was able to create a new low right over here too does not change a thing a bit uh, the horizontal support that we can use uh, for reversal is this area 2263 when prices go above this area and clear it we will be definitely looking for a bullish trend in silver <coughs> so a lot of you guys are interesting on why the reason I'm thinking let me draw a pattern and then hopefully you'll be able to understand what I'm thinking this is called worst head and shoulder pattern in fact the shoulder got broken a bit right over here too uh, so we can see that the the diagonal lane can be used this shoulder I'm expecting so in our previous analysis I told you guys that you're expecting price to go down and sharply reverse and that's exactly what we have seen we have seen prices to jump off the support and going up I'm expecting that we will continue a uh, strongly bullish price action in gold and silver and in platinum and in commodity uh, currencies as well so this is in continuation with that so I'm expecting this behavior to continue on a daily time frame uh, you should look at this whole analysis if you look at this whole analy analysis uh, you want to see where exactly what sort of pattern is expected either we're going to see something like this uh, either we're going to see something like this or either we're going to see something like this right over here too so I'm going to discuss all that in my patreon page come join me on my patreon um, as I told you guys I'm not feeling well so there's a probability I will be sharing that either on uh, on Sunday or on Monday as soon as I feel much better so I'll be indicating that right now I believe that we have created a bottom in uh, gold already and I'm expecting to be bullish in in gold I'm expecting that we have already completed wave one right over here and wave two is completed this is going to be wave three crude oil uh, we were expecting some sort of ending diagonal and I will discuss the larger pattern in a bit too uh, I believe that we can start counting this as wave one and this as wave two and this as wave three and this as wave four and another zigzag is expected creating an ending diagonal uh, so I'm expecting that we have created A, B and C is going to be down and move prices upward in a zigzag manner therefore a break of this support level and this diagonal support level will indicate that this trend is complete in case the prices are going to go up and create a top right over here too we can consider it as wave 1 and 2 or and 1 and 2 or you can consider it as a double 3 wave structure in which this is uh, a zigzag this is a zigzag and this is a flat correction which we are clearly obvious so in both cases uh, we can consider that the structure is expected to be complete and the main trend in crude oil is to be bearish uh, next two three days I'm still bullish on it let's see that we have seen actually this happening and then this should give us a good trend upward and then we'll keep very active uh, and keep a close eye on this because we'll be very close to the end line end of the trend right over here too so a lot of volatility happen when that is the case 
Bitcoin, um, <clears throat> I'm bearish on Bitcoin. Nothing has changed from my previous analysis. We are still continuing. I'm expecting that a new low uh, can be formed right over here too. A dramatic prime whose movement downward is not expected uh, right over here too, like all the flat, all the crash. Instead, I think that we are going to see some uh, support coming in handy soon right over here when prices fall down. So wish you good luck with your trading. Um, please do press that thumbs up. And uh, if you're interested in supporting me, come join me on my Patreon. This is only 29 US dollars per month. Uh, you'll also be, in addition to YouTube videos, you'll also be looking at uh, midweek analysis. And I will be able to answer any of your questions personally uh, on my Patreon. Wish you good luck with your uh, trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.